Welcome back, guys. This is Some Scrub coming to you with our next episode of Clash Royale. Uh, this is a voiceover. Getting right into it. I'm opening up my free chest. Uh, as you can see, I made the layout a little bit different here, uh, showing my battle deck now. Uh, you can see we're opening a gold chest too. A couple goodies in this. Uh, kind of rearrange the artwork here on the screen, uh, make it a little bit more appealing for you guys. Uh, throughout this video, you're going to see I did acquire a few new cards. Uh, I'm going to show you here. Uh, just some of them uh, picked up. I think picked up the P.E.K.K.A., the Freeze card, the Mirror card, Hog Rider. Uh, the Mirror card I did add to the deck. I replaced uh, the Skeletons with the Mirror. And uh, let me tell you, it makes a little bit of a difference. <laughs> uh, definitely a, a great card to have. Uh, huge difference in battles. Uh, the ability to... Well, I won't spoil it for you, but we'll we'll talk about it in our battles. Um, so uh, we also picked up the Hog Rider, which is a pretty decent card. We might use him uh, in a different deck build. Uh, I do have an idea for a second deck that has some potential. Uh, I got to admit, um, it'd be a little bit more similar to what other people use, but. Uh, something good nonetheless. We are in Spell Valley now. Uh, we have picked up the Zap card at this point in time. We've picked up the Wizard. Although you won't see those in this video, I don't think. We've also picked up Fire Spirits. Uh, I haven't gotten the Poison yet. Uh, we did pick up the Mirror card, and I'm still... I haven't picked up the Ice Wizard either yet. Overall, though, uh, great cards being unlocked now. As you can see, much higher card rewards from Chess in Arena 5. Uh, versus the last arena, which is Arena 4. You can see the difference there. This is why it's kind of worth it to try to get into higher arenas as quickly as possible. We're going to get right into a battle here. Uh, these these battles are kind of just... I, I did a bunch of battles, guys. Um, I kind of forget about the, uh, the winning streak we had going on. I experimented with some other decks, and... Uh, uh, they just weren't doing it for me. A couple losses. I kind of hovered in this arena at first and uh, then I kind of just played a bunch of battles and I recorded them all as you can see here I'm playing I'm gonna play uh, a couple wins I think it draws in here and then uh, at the end of the video I'll show you um, two battles that I had with uh, some clan members that ended up joining which I thank you guys for joining I think most of them are viewers at this point in time or at least have been referred by viewers uh, to join so we have some uh, some interesting people joining. I encourage you guys to join uh, if you're if you're inter interested and uh, you enjoy these videos, or if if you think you'd be a good fit. Obviously, I'll be doing these videos for quite some time, so uh, your own battles will probably show up in my videos if we have a friendly battle or something like that that can be uh, used as a teaching experience. So as you can see here, guys, uh, I made a pretty good push on the left. <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead and get that first crown. Uh, I'll, most of these these battles that I recorded were were heavy on the uh, on the fodder. So he's using barbarians as kind of a fodder and spearmen. This was an interesting uh, deck to go against because it kind of almost mimics mine in the fact that he's trying to push with uh, um, generated troops versus straight cards. So he's got a pretty good, strong push that he, he made on the left side here. And he's going to keep this up throughout the battle. Uh, not really worrying about those archers too much. They can get picked off fairly easily. Uh, the, big, the big concern is going to be on the left here. Those barbarians take a long time to beat down. <laughs> so as he's doing that, I'm trying to make a push on the right. He laid the bomber down. Didn't work out so well for me. Uh, and in the meantime, he got a little bit closer on the left. So it's it's kind of an even match at this point in time. Even though I got his one tower down, he's still defending himself very nicely. He lays the prince down there on the left. He's going to do some work on my troops. Which kind of forces me to lay down the army. Uh, which kind of gets decimated. His His troops are piling up at this point. Which is not good for me. But as you can see, 
We have a good little uh, piece of control here. And that's the match. Fortunately, he did not manage to have that massive group of uh, troops come in and smash us up. So we're going to get a chest here. Uh, open that up real quick. Get a couple basic cards here. Skeletons, Musketeer. And jump into the next battle. So as you can see, this is a level 7 to our level 5. Uh, quite significantly more experienced than us. This is another deck that uh, played heavily on the fodder. As you can see, he's got Goblin, Spearman, and Fire Spirits all at once. Uh, very low cost cards and mi uh, minions as well. So he's got a, a pretty low cost card deck, uh, which is going to play in his favor throughout this battle for the most part. Of course, until he meets, meets my witch. <laughs> So we're going to try to lay the balloon down. Uh, it's just going to get a little distracted now. Look at that beautiful mirror card that I had. It allowed me to mirror a balloon, although he did have some uh, spearmen in the weight, which kind of screwed me over. Um, again, you know, it's that low cost. They don't cost very much to put down, so uh, it's easy for him to counter on the air defense. Spearmen are uh, extremely good for that sort of thing. But right there, you, you did see the value of the mirror card. Uh, the, the ability to lay two balloons down, and even more importantly, uh, multiple witches down, <laughs> is uh, very valuable. Especially when uh, you have a build like this, where there's so much fodder coming your way, it's kind of ridiculous. So we've got spearmen, fire spirits, and skeletons now at this point funneling to the right as well as uh, he just laid some minions down but we're going to lay down a second witch uh, which as you can see just murders any kind of deck that has a massive amount of fodder so because we got to play that witch at a lower cost we had enough left over to launch a balloon over on the left although he did use quite a few cards took that balloon out pretty quickly but ultimately it cost him his push on the right. So we have the witch and we also have a mirror card available. He laid down the giant for the push. We're going to clear out all that stuff with the fireball real quick. And a second fireball. He's trying real hard to uh, get that tower down. Laying down another giant. So we're going to put down a tombstone for that giant to go after. Got to take care of the giant before he takes out our tower. Lay down the fireball. And now we're in sudden death. So we've got extra elixir coming in at this point. Which means we can lay down troops just a little bit faster. It's going to be one wicked battle here on the left, I have a feeling. We can't quite get that balloon in. He just simply has too much anti-air in the area. He's laying down a lot of fodder. We need to take that out quickly. We still have a witch going. And we can try to make a push on the left here with the balloon and some minions. Although he's going to take that out with the arrows. That balloon's almost going to get there and take that tower out, but not quite. We have another witch out, and we have a witch ready to go on the mirror card. But it ultimately came down to a draw, guys. It was a pretty even battle. Uh, not much more to say than that. It's pretty good that it was a draw, and he was he was a higher level than me. So uh, now we're moving on to uh, a six versus our five. Wait for our elixir to build up here. Trying to wait for his move. He lays down a P.E.K.K.A. 
and a bomber. So this is difficult to counter. The bomber, I can't lay down the skeletal army against the P.E.K.K.A. because the bomber will take it out. Then he adds the fire spirits to the mix. So we have to take those out before we can lay down the skeleton army, which will absolutely murder this P.E.K.K.A. until he takes it out with arrows, of course. But we did significant damage to it in a very short period of time. Uh, he's going to try to lay down the goblins, but our witch is there to kind of counter that, that little attack. So we have the witch down. We have a witch on the mirror card available. I wasn't sure about laying down that balloon. I uh, kind of figured I'd wait, which was a good choice because he laid down a wizard. So we took out the wizard in the uh, bomber. He laid down the fire spirits, which canceled out our push, and now we're back to square one. So we have a balloon, and we have a mirror card available. I'm kind of waiting for his move. He lays down the prince. So we're going to take that out with our skeletal army fairly easily. And then we're going to try to push on the left. Unfortunately, he had that arrow card again, which took out majority of our push. <coughs> That's okay, though. That balloon is going to get a little bit of damage in. And then we just have to deal with a wizard on the left. So we have the witch down. We have a witch available on our mirror card. I put that tombstone down so that those goblins wouldn't be able to touch that tower at all. Which seemed to work fairly well. Unfortunately, our witch is not going to get in much of a push here on the left. And neither is our mini P.E.K.K.A. I unfortunately laid down our mirror card with the P.E.K.K.A. And then he laid down the skeletal army, which <laughs> completely dismissed that, that attempt to push. Goblin Bomb on the left. Take it out with our witch and distract the uh, prince. Pretty easily countered. Not a whole lot to worry about there. Uh, not until this bomber and fire spirits come in here. Do a little bit of damage, but ultimately we're able to lay down a significant amount of troops to try to push. He laid down the skeletal army, but we have the witch there, so that's going to make quick work of that. And we're going to be able to take this tower right before the end of the game. And uh, this is going to secure our win. So not the cleanest win, guys, but it's uh, pretty good. Six versus our five. We still got a crown. Ended up beating him. 39 trophies for that battle. And we're going to unlock the silver chest. So this is where we pick up our zap card. And as you can see, it's a, it's a nice low-cost card. does a stun uh, in the upper levels. It stuns for longer. Uh, something I am considering in putting in our second deck. Uh, but for the time being, we're going to move on to our next battle against Brian. So right off the bat, we have excellent push cards. Unfortunately, not very good counter cards. We have the Witch. We have a Witch on reserve on the mirror. Um, he's going to lay down the Barrel Bomb, which we have to counter with our minions. He does have a Freeze card, which kind of threw me off because the Prince, I didn't have much to distract, so I kind of had to throw that Tombstone down real quick. But he is easily countered. <clears throat> Our witch is making some havoc there on the right. And we also try to make a push on the left. But he lays down the minion army. Which is going to make quick work of my balloon. I have the fireball in tote. Which is going to take out and take care of that army. But we have to worry about the P.E.K.K.A. now. I do not have any cards available uh, to try to counter him until just this moment. He's going to end up taking that tower out. Which puts the pressure on me quite early in the game. <laughs> we just passed the two minute mark and I am already down a tower. Fortunately, he he played that uh, Valkyrie card a little bit off to the side, which allowed me, allowed that skeletal armory to uh, do some significant damage to that left tower. <clears throat> but now he's got a Valkyrie and a Prince, uh, which is a problem because the Valkyrie takes out all of the fodder to distract the prince with fairly quickly. And he used a freeze spell, which just hit the edge on my witch. Uh, kind of slowed everything down there. Took out my tombstone. 
nevertheless, we are able to push on both sides now. So we are going to do some significant damage to the left tower, taking it out. And he laid some barbarians down, but that left our balloon there on the right to just about take out that right tower. And that's going to come into important play here pretty soon. So he makes major advances here on the left, trying to uh, go for my main uh, king tower. I get to play the second witch, which is going to do some massive damage to his uh, his troops he's laying down here, especially because I got him pretty well distracted. Uh, we're going to lay down a whole bunch of skeletons. Uh, unfortunately, he played that freeze, which kind of stopped my witch. Uh, the Valkyrie is going to end up taking uh, much of those fodder troops out. A third witch is down at this point in time. We have another witch on reserve on our mirror card. So <laughs> we got four witches down at this point, doing some massive damage. He drops a P.E.K.K.A. We need to distract that P.E.K.K.A. There's only 13 seconds left. He froze all four of our witches. We've got Skeleton Army down, three witches, trying real hard, real hard, guys. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. So I switch up cards at the last moment. Sudden death, lay the fireball down, take out its tower, and we win the game. If I would have kept it up, I probably could have taken out his main and gotten uh, three crowns. But I wanted to ensure the win, so I threw that fireball up there, and uh, it was a good choice. 31 trophies for that win. And now we can open up our silver chest. So a couple more Tesla cards. This is where we pick up the wizard, uh, which is an excellent unit as long as it's used correctly. Uh, that is an also a unit I'm kind of considering for my second deck, uh, a Wizard Hog Rider Zap, uh, and then whatever else to fill in. I think that's a, a pretty decent combination. I want to I want to try to utilize a Hog Rider because um, he goes right for the buildings. So, and you can see we're actually up against a Hog Rider in this battle. So we're going to counter both the Prince and the Hog Rider with the Skeleton Army. And the Witch uh, makes quick work. Unfortunately, he has a baby dragon in the backside, which is going to eliminate most of our uh, fodder that would have otherwise done a significant amount of damage to that tower. Good play by him. And he lays a wizard down on the left. Uh, we're going we're gonna to counter him pretty easily with the Mini P.E.K.K.A. That is an excellent way to counter the wizard as long as you can lay it down right on top of him. That peck is going to do a little bit of work on that tower on the left uh, before he ends up getting killed. Skeletal army in on the left. We have fireball. Just going to kind of wipe that out. Not a big deal. Uh, laying down the balloon. We're going to try to take that tower out. See what happens. Unfortunately, he laid down the minion army. So that plan didn't work out so well. Uh, we're going to try to counter with the minions. Unfortunately, by doing that, I opened myself up to the prince. I had to lay down the tombstone to distract, <clears throat> which worked out pretty decently. Uh, distracted enough to get him killed. So Baby Dragon is going to start making his way down the left lane. <clears throat> and I'm going to lay down the witch to counter. In doing so, I opened myself up on the right. He had a Hog Rider in tow. That Hog Rider is going to do some serious damage to that tower before I am able to counter him. But counter him, I will. I still haven't gotten that left tower down, guys. He's going to wreck my P.E.K.K.A. Uh, with that army. I have a fireball to take care of that. And then he lays down the heavy guns, the big P.E.K.K.A. <laughs> it's like he pulls out something new every... Uh, every like 15 seconds <laughs> so I take out the heavy P.E.K.K.A. with the skeletons uh, this is prior by the way this is prior to me getting the mirror card as you can notice we have the regular skeletons in this deck uh, I did manage to take out that tower we have the witch to do cleanup as well as a fireball which I wish I would have saved uh, for that skeletal army on the right although the minions did an excellent job at uh, cleaning up the extra fodder. So I was going to lay down the balloon, and then he kind of threw me off. He laid down the hog rider and the wizard. Match is coming to a close here. We have the baby dragon distracted enough. 
And the wizard is also preoccupied, and we are going to end up winning this battle uh, with a single tower takedown. Great fight for not having the mirror card, I must admit. 32 trophies for that battle. <coughs> we get a silver chest open. I think this was uh, like the first battle, because you can see I have two crowns in my crown chest. I think this is the first battle I did for the night. Nevertheless, uh, it played out very well for not having the mirror card. Uh, we're going to go into our next battle. I can't say this guy's name. Uh, I don't know if it's Chinese or what it is. Uh, he starts off strong. Minion army and the Valkyrie. Uh, kind of hard for me to counter that without the fireball, so I just kind of lay it down there. Valkyrie's going to do some work. Um, and then he's going to unleash the minion army on me. Minion army is going to get cleaned up by the witch pretty quickly. As well as the spearmen. And then we can see what happens here on the right as we make our way up. A couple archers. They're going to take out my witch, and I'm going to take them out. And we're kind of back to square one, so I'm gaining some elixir, waiting for his move. <coughs> we're both playing the waiting game at this point. We are equal levels, 5 versus 5, so this is a fairly uh, equal battle. I'm going to lay the tombstone down so I don't waste elixir. Still waiting on his move. He's got to be sitting on an elixir at this point. He lays down the witch. So I lay down the balloon on the left. He also laid down a Valkyrie. Which uh, is difficult for me because we have the P.E.K.K.A. And the P.E.K.K.A. is getting really messed up really quick. He also has a skeleton army on the left. Which is equally as daunting. But he ultimately ignored my balloon. Which did some pretty significant damage to his tower on the left. So not a significant push on his side, uh, but we did some major damage ourselves. Those archers are going to get naturally taken care of. And we're going to put down the witch to deal with his musketeer. So working out all right at this point. I figured that the Valkyrie was coming, so I kind of waited on playing a card. That mini P.E.K.K.A. is going to screw that Valkyrie up pretty well. Uh, our fireball will take care of that that horde, that army. Unfortunately, he had more fodder behind it uh, in the form of the minion army and the spearmen. He also unleashed the witch on us. Fortunately, I was able to lay down a witch of my own with some minions. We could take out that witch and then take out the archers. He laid the musketeer down, and I have the witch there, but that balloon is not going to quite make it, I don't think, to that tower. Oh, it actually did. I'm sorry. So he took that tower out. Uh, <laughs> I quickly withdrew that, that army from that Valkyrie, because that would have just been slaughter. So the match is coming to a close now. We have everything distracted well enough to secure the win, and that is what we will do with a single tower defeat. Pretty good match. Uh, 26 trophies for that one. We get a golden chest out of the deal. Which we are going to open up. So, I'm moving on now, guys. To uh, We're doing some friendly battles. Just uh, to show you. Mr. Doombringer... Uh, is one of our newest clan members. This is uh, Supreme on YouTube. <clears throat> he was kind enough to join. He's actually the one that gave me the idea to make the clan. Uh, he's a little bit higher level than me in this video. Seven versus R5. He's got a very strong deck. Laying down the, uh, the giant and the wizard, which was very well placed. That uh, wizard's going to just follow that giant right in. Giant's going to soak up most of the damage. And the wizard's going to do most of the damage. He complements it with some spearmen, which is hard to uh, hard to counter. Uh, you've got an, an AOE damage dealer, spearmen, and a giant. And I don't have much to counter that with. It's going to just kind of wipe out my fodder. So I do as much as I can, but with that poison spell, ultimately he's going to take that tower very quickly, lay down another giant, and then we're really in trouble. <laughs> I can distract the giant for a little bit. Uh, 
that tombstone being broken, I thought would be great for uh, killing off that giant, but he laid down the wizard, which I'm going to have to counter with the P.E.K.K.A. He also lays down a mini P.E.K.K.A. to counter my P.E.K.K.A., which my P.E.K.K.A. takes him out, but he ultimately did not turn around and go for the giant. Uh, so that's quite painful for me. Good use of the uh, zap spell. Took out all those skeletons. Gives a couple hits in for his uh, spearman. Of course, he's chuckling because he's beating the crap out of me. <laughs> he, unfortunately for me, he has a, uh, a booster, which is going to give him the edge on the elixir production. He's going to end up laying down that wizard and a giant again on the right side. He's got a decent chance at a push here. Uh, again, if I lay down the skeleton army, they're just going to get taken out. So I need to lay down the fireball first to try to level the playing field, then take that giant out. He's going to lay the poison down, which is going to take care of most of my skeletons and also damage part of my balloon. This wizard is going to take care of the balloon before I can even get there. Again, good, good good push combination, laying the uh, giant down in front of the wizard. He's got the musketeer and the wizard behind the giant, which is going to do work on my troops. The only thing I can counter with, guys, is fireball, which I try. But ultimately, I am not going to be able to stop his advance uh, or take one of his towers, which will give him the win. So guys, that's going to be the end of our video. I'm going to call it here. Uh, thank you guys uh, for those of you who have been watching. Make sure if you like this video, you like it in the comment section. Leave a comment if you think this video was good or bad. I will respond to you either way. Uh, make sure you guys, if you like these kind of videos, that you uh, hit that subscribe button for more. Especially if you like my 7 Days, seven days to Die videos as well. Make sure you tell your friends and your subscribers and their subscribers and everybody uh, about me. So we can get a better uh, get a better presence here in the channel, and potentially more people into this clan. Uh, also, if you guys are feeling particularly generous today, uh, I'm still working on ordering my microphone. I probably will actually be ordering it tonight. I am picking up a significant amount of hours of overtime at work. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I work at a zoo, and uh, we have an annual Zubu event. So we run two weeks of uh, trick or treating at the zoo until Halloween comes. Uh, which requires quite a bit of overtime on my behalf. Uh, so I, I will apologize ahead of time, guys. I will probably not re be releasing videos in the quantity that I have been to date, but I will still be re be releasing videos until the end of the month, uh, just not as many. Uh, I promise you once November hits, I will pick right back up where I left off, uh, and we'll be, we'll be rolling again. And we'll have a new microphone, uh, hopefully by, I would say, Monday if I order it tonight. So... Uh, that's exciting. Uh, better sound quality for you guys. More enjoyment on my end. Uh, I'm bringing quality content to you. So again, guys, I want to thank you for watching. And uh, I will see you on our next episode of uh, Clash Royale, either with a new deck or with our current deck. Uh, either way, it's going to be lots of fun. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And until next time, take it easy. <laughs>